Hello everybody, I'm Oliver from Lenses.com and today I'm going to show you another tip or trick or however you want to call it. So let's say that we have a finished character, okay, and this happens a lot of times. We have a finished model and we want to try different variations on it. So let's say, for example, that we want to try, um, I don't know, how it would look like with bigger hands, with a smaller head, you know, change its proportions a bit to see different variations of the same character. So Usually we would do it by just, uh, you know, we could duplicate it and try in a, you know, whoa. Okay, so we select the hand, for example. Uh, we make sure that the proportional editing is enabled and we can start playing with the proportions, right? So this would be one of the ways to try different uh, variations. But I'm going to show you in this video a different way of doing it, something that I've used a number of times. Um, and uh, and that I find quite useful, really, because it, you you don't have to uh, you don't need to have different objects, and it's very quickly very easy to jump between different versions. So uh, here I have this object. I need to go here to the uh, mesh tab, and inside the mesh tab, what I'm going to do is to pay attention to this data block. This is the name of this specific mesh. All right. Keep in mind that an object is a container, and inside that container we have a mesh which is contained inside the container. Okay, it's kind of tricky, but it's, it's how it is. So inside the same object, the object basically stores information about the location, rotation, and scale of the object, but then what is inside is defined by the mesh tab. Okay, so in the mesh tab we can select a different model right here. Uh, I don't have one. There is this, but uh, I guess it's the same one, I don't know. Uh, or is, is probably the one that I just created now by duplicating it. Because you can see here well, that uh, when a data block is not being used, Blender tells us but setting a zero here before the name. Okay, so this is just the one that I created and deleted. And it's zero because I deleted it. Okay, so this means that when I save the file and come back to it, that won't be there. Blender, when some uh, data block has zero users, it automatically takes rid of, get, get, gets rid of it, okay, because it, it realizes that maybe you don't need it. Now, that some people complains about it, I think it's quite, uh, quite cool, because that keeps your file clean, and you don't have a lot of stuff lying around that you don't need. But at the same time, you have to be careful, okay, when you really want something to be saved in your file, what you need to do is to click here on this F button. And what is that F? It's not a bad word, really. Uh, it's not an F bomb here. It's just fake user. And so here you can see that this number represents the number of users that are using this uh, mesh. In this case, how many objects have this mesh shown into them? So in this case, they are, there are two. One of them is this object that I have here just selected. And the other one is the fake user. This means that if I select here a different mesh, okay, you can see that is the one with different hands. Here we don't have a user's number. This means that there is only one user. Okay, but if we go to the other one, you can see that instead of a zero, you have a nef, which means that this is uh, is saved. This will be always saved because Blender, even if you're not really using it in the scene, you have a fake user enabled. Okay, so I hope you understand this. It's a bit tricky, but uh, I really like how it works. Okay, so now if we wanted to try a different variation of this uh, mesh, we just could duplicate it. All right, create a duplicate, an, an instance. And uh, an instance is basically what Blender calls it a linked duplicate. It's a duplicate of the mesh, but uh, that is linked to the original one, which means that if we press, instead of Shift D to duplicate, we press Alt D to instance. All right, I'm going to enable here the keys. Okay, so when we do this, it means that you can see that if I move something, it affects the other instances. All right, so it's linked duplicate. All right, so we, I want this to be independent of the other instances. So what I do is just click this number, and it now will be duplicated. You can see that it is being called Luke002. This could be like the second version of Luke. Okay, so let's call it here 02. All right, so now here I could just come and start trying different things. Like, I'm going to be very weird here. Okay, so maybe, you know, put the head a lot smaller, make the feet bigger. All right, something like that, just for for trying, <laughs> it's very weird and funny. Um, all right, so we have this. So now I can save it and I could duplicate it and keep trying other variations. But the cool thing about this is that I can very easily come here and select other ones 
inside here and very quickly you know replace this by other model with different uh, uh, proportions okay we can uh, for example select the original one again click here this one call it look 03 and uh, keep working and maybe I don't know maybe this time just make the whole body smaller whoa now this is not a good idea maybe make the head bigger <laughs> that would be easier okay so there we go something like that all right looks like one of those tricks in the old Tony Hawk's uh, video games right <laughs> okay so now uh, I can as you can see switch very quickly between the different versions that I saved for this model and also you, you can write them really if you if you write here look only the objects that are called uh, look will be shown here because if you have other objects in the scene they all will show in this list and it might be a little trickier to find them but just to start writing and they will show up there <clears throat> okay so that's it i hope you liked it i hope you find it useful and if you did Come on and subscribe. What are you waiting for? All right, so see you in the future videos. I'm, I'm coming up with a, a new series of tutorials, so stay tuned and see you later. Happy blending. Mm -hmm.